Comic End, the final frontier. These are the voyages of geek culture, its continuing mission to explore comics, toys, and movies, to seek out new titles and new collectibles, to boldly go where no geek has gone before. Written by David and Scott Tipton. With art by J.K. Woodward, Mirror Broken is an ongoing miniseries by IDW Publishing, which tells the story of what the next generation crew are like in the Mirror universe. The issue opens with Captain Picard aboard the ISS Stargazer in its gymnasium, working out, hitting the bag, jogging on the treadmill, and pumping iron. But suddenly, it becomes obvious that someone's out to kill him. A member of the crew sabotages the bench press to keep him from lifting it off his chest. Picard furiously lifts the weight and moves out of the way before it comes crashing down. He finds the man responsible and kills him. He's then joined by Troy, who he calls Inquisitor in this issue, as opposed to the preview issue in which he called her Counselor. He then meets with Troy, Barkley, and Data to discuss capturing the ISS Enterprise. But first, Picard needs a high-level contact aboard the Enterprise in order to make their plan work. His first choice is Troy's ex-lover, Commander William Riker, who is currently the first officer aboard the Enterprise. Deanna probes the minds of every member of the Stargazer crew to learn who they can trust to be a part of this mission and presents the list to Picard. It's revealed in this issue that Jordy and Leah Brahms, you know, warp core specialists from a few episodes of The Next Generation that Jordy created a holographic duplicate of and fell in love with, yeah, that Leah Brahms. Well, it seems they both have feelings for each other, and they had worked aboard the Enterprise together, working on the antimatter containment project. He reveals their plan to her, and she agrees to help. Picard meets with Riker in a bar and tries to speak with him, but Riker isn't willing to listen. In this story, Riker is battle-tested. He has a long scar down the left side of his face and blinded in his left eye. Eventually, the two get into an absolutely violent bar fight with Riker starting off with a left cross, Picard lifting their table over onto him and punching him, Riker following through with the table being launched at Picard and then kicking him in the gut while he's down. The two men crash into a wall with Picard punching at Riker. A right jab which connects with the wall as Riker dodges Picard's attack and brings his elbow deep into Picard's throat. Picard retaliating with a headbutt to Riker, following with a German suplex, neither man showing any sign of slowing down. Picard with a double-fisted reverse axe chop to Riker's jaw, and finally two men coming to a rest with each gaining the other's respect and Riker accepting Picard's offer. I really enjoyed this issue and loved how different yet familiar each of the main characters seem. It was a great issue with amazing action and storytelling. The idea of bringing in Leah Brahms with Jordy was incredible since she was only really ever in two or three episodes of The Next Generation, but played a big part in Jordy's life. Once again, Woodward nails it out of the park with his art style and capturing the likeness of all the main characters of the story. Yeah, the coloring was a little bit muted, but that can be forgiven. You know, I, I know Woodward wasn't responsible for the coloring, but you know, the coloring can be forgiven. It's the mirror universe, you know, it should be a little bit darker, a little bit more muted. It truly felt like watching an episode of The Next Generation. Once again, IDW is publishing some incredible work and should keep the team of Woodward and the two Tiptons together on all future Next Generation comics. Just like with Burnham and Shoning on Ghostbusters, this team really gets the source material, and I love that about IDW. They really know the perfect team of people to bring together on stories which already have a huge live-action fan base, 
I can't wait to see what comes next in this ongoing series. I highly recommend subscribing to this series, as I doubt very much it'll disappoint any Star Trek fan, whether you're a hardcore Trekkie or just the casual fan. I guarantee you'll love it. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care, guys. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon from Comageddon, where all geek culture collides.